Because... <laughs> You're going to ask a question. <laughs> I, I can ask in a minute. You're fun. Oh, no, I've got my sound off. There we go. Hi, everybody. It's been a minute. <laughs> Welcome back to Tavern Tapes features the Altera campaign. Uh, we've been gone for a little bit. Skydiving and technical difficulties have been rampant, but everything should be good. We are back, gang. Quick announcements before we get into the fun bit of things. Uh, follow us every Sunday for the main campaign at Yendry, 7 Central Time. Uh, we've got a lot of fun characters. we got these guys. Uh, and myself. And the lovely Ellerys here is on DM those days. Also, we got a cool podcast out, Horizon Red. If you guys want to follow that, every 1st and 15th the podcast comes out. We have a table read for that tonight. Check the ticker down below for more information. Go to horizonredpodcast.com for more details if you guys want to check that out as well. Uh, other than that, we've got fun merch. We've got notebooks if you guys want to keep track of all the dumb shit that we do and or use us for your own games. We've got hats. We've got, well, no, I don't think we have hats. Yeah, we've got hats. We've got yeah. notebooks. We've got uh, ooh, tumblers, which I don't have on me. Uh, check out the store, guys. It's a fun time. And t-shirts and hoodies. And t-shirts and hoodies, especially in time for the hot summer season. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, t-shirts. We've also got tank tops. Listen, and well, you can make crop hoodies. We list crop mm -hmm. hoodies. And we have a cropped uh, t-shirt. We do. I have one. I'll Wait, say that. Uh, I've said too much. <laughs> um, yeah. I think that's about it for announcements. Uh, other than that, gang, we'll jump on right in. Sabrina will be joining us shortly. She is currently grabbing Taco Bell for one of us. Mm, tacos. Mm. You can bring Taco Bell for is. the rest of the class. Let's see how it is. <laughs> yeah, can you... Uh... <laughs> Can you uh, DoorDash me some Taco Bell uh, a couple <laughs> states away? Us too. A couple yeah. states? Oh, for him, yeah. For us, it's a few. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, one other wait, thing wait. about podcast is mm -hmm. it is available wherever you get your podcasts and new episodes come out on the 1st and the 15th yeah. of every month. So you don't I have any excuse. on Spotify. I also list on Spotify. Me too. <laughs> That's crazy. That's where I, I listen to all my podcasts, though. Respectively. Same. Well, without further ado, we will jump back into our lovely game with our Altera crew. So, previously, the ramshackle party thrown together by circumstance and chance gathered together and were given a mission by the Draconian Divergency in the hopes of hindering and sabotaging some of the machinations of the Tiastrom theocracy. Having re-met with Evite Randir with your two new allies, Vrithil and Ophelia, the four of you traveled into and further beneath the Tower of the Voice where Evite was being held in the hopes of finding Evite's gear and some pylons or some type of uh, siphons that the theocracy has been using for their own nefarious deeds. You successfully bypassed the, uh, the path of the prophet and uh, survived the traps and glyphs before you and found yourself in a f massive chamber where the pylons stood. Upon each of these three pylons you saw the decapitated and rotting heads of three green dragons from the center of the chamber tres if you're German hey shout out to the German crowd uh, um, having entered this chamber a voice erupted from the familiar uh, uh, entity known as Viserion or the verdant voice uh, Evite and Randir having recognized her and Ophelia as well. Yeah, Ophelia, you recognize her. Yeah, I do. Hey, Ophelia, calm down. <laughs> You're being a little too loud. Jeez. Um, with 
the combat ensuing after being discovered and well you guys were discovered in the previous chamber so they were expecting you uh from the three severed heads you watched as these forms dropped from them these dragonborn of pale gray scaled skin uh as they wielded these weapons and an aquatic energy breathed from their mouths and they all charged you we are now going to be jumping back into mid encounter the second round of combat evite at the top of the round what do you do oh and vertho um, is still uh dominated still dominated that's where i like to be it's a me boy <laughs> um i would like to get like yeah like here because i would i don't think that would provoke an attack would it because uh if you take that direction no you'll be fine i was actually trying to give you an idea of like <laughs> yeah if you would pass by or not so you'd be fine passing through that direction i think that's maybe a little further um ish yeah that's 30. Cool. so i'm gonna go there and then um I thought I hung Hunter's marked. She is Hunter's marked. That's little. She, she has okay. a little. She has a little poof over her icon. Okay, that's weird. I don't have to check off. All right, well, let me check off that spell. Uh, uh, wait, so, if I didn't, I was going to. Did you use Hunter's mark previously? I thought it. I always do. So I assume I did. Oh, oh, I'm thinking of the. Vandalin stuff, you use Hunter's Mark in that, so I don't think you used it. Uh, Weird. Right, oh, well, remember you could because I had darkness up. That's what it was. So you have it that's back. Right. So she's... Yeah, sorry. That's what it is. The shadowy shit is darkness that's on her currently. So that's why you guys can't see her, but she can see you. Okay, so it's still on her? Darkness is still on her. So the idea of darkness is that it's on a fixed space. So... You cast it on her, yeah. But if she moves, it does not move with her. So she's yeah. staying within that space. Uh, uh, okay. Exactly. Then. Thank you, Rithil. Appreciate that. <laughs> would I? No problem. Would I be familiar at all with the spell that she casts on Rithil? Uh, make an Arcana check. Uh, I'll say DC is going to be tw uh, twenty on this. <laughs> Maybe I've been a bit of the whole time. Nope. Do not know what it is. That was a 13 plus nothing. All right. Uh, then knowing it's a disadvantage, don't care. I'm going to shoot her twice. Be nice and shoot her twice. That first one was a 29. That's with disadvantage. Uh, that'll definitely hit. That'll do it. The second one... I assume we'll miss with an 18. Give me just a moment. 18 just hits. Oh. Sweet. I don't have to, because I get a free reroll. Yeah, turn. so 18 is the exact AC you're looking for. Sweet. So both heat. So she's not marked, so I don't have the DC. All right. That is going to be... Uh, six plus eight. What is that? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen. Yeah, fourteen. Her piercing. All right, and it is a magical weapon. So you watch it. Wait, are you aiming for her? Yes. She's in darkness. Disadvantage. I know. I rolled with disadvantage. Oh really? Shit. <laughs> I have plus ten to hit. Jesus Christ. Yeah. No. So, having a rough idea, you kind of like look for where the eyes are kind of shining through in the darkness and you use those as references and <clears throat> you hear a soft uh irritated grumble coming from it your strikes hit true so they seem that's it <laughs> oh there's no rhyme no she doesn't rhyme every time oh. but i do um, <laughs> yeah. all right um and then I want to. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I am going to bonus action uh, pull a uh, cast healing spirit because I'm not looking so great. I'm gonna pop it like right next to me for now. Ophelia's join the chat. Um, what's the darkness uh, radius? Is it 20 feet? Um, let me check. Was it 50? 15 foot area. Okay. Radius. Yep. Radius. Oh, no. Let's not do that. Nope, let's not do that. Nope, let's not do that. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just trying to move the damn thing. Um, how about we do this? Actually, oh, it works. The healing spirit. I'm not going to cast that just yet. Okay. So you're not casting healing spirit? No, not yet. I'm still fine. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I moved. Let me just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Hunter's Mark, um, let's do, let's do Blue Boy. I'm gonna Hunter's Mark Blue Boy. Ah, uh, Yellow. That, I mean, he is right in front of me. Yeah, but Yellow's closer to me. Oh, I keep forgetting there's a Yellow over there. It blended yeah. in with the, with the pentagram. <laughs> there we go. I'll throw the darkness there so she's within it all right so you hit yellow yeah, with, with a hunter's mark, hunter's mark. Oh, we'll do that's my turn all right i'm going to do a little a little a little dark heart on it all right after you go at the end of your turn she's going to use a legendary action to command ally, uh, each ally makes a melee attack at the closest target. Does that include no me one's at this close? Point? JK. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Oh, yeah, you would be you. Yeah, you're an ally. Make an attack against Ophelia. Will do. Hey! I completely forgot we're buds. Bro! Oh my god. <laughs> What did you do? Uh, AC it's gonna 17. Be a 28. <laughs> Holy sh. Okay. No sneak attack, so. No sneak attack. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not going to be a lot. It's only going to be 8 uh, sword damage. I think that's slashing. Oh, piercing. That's weird. Eh, I'll say for his short sword is piercing or slashing. It can go either way, really. Okay, yeah, it'll be slashing. So, 8 points of slashing damage? Yep. Okay. She's still looking good. She's fine. Meh. And I Meh. Kiss. She just Bro, looks up to you. Not cool. Now come on, we can talk about this. <laughs> ah. You know, I thought you were gonna be an all right guy. I've been a dick to Arnold the whole time. Take that, George Washington. I've been a dick, Arnold. <laughs> yeah, too stretch. Um, all right, that's the end of her legendary action. It is now Viserion's turn. <laughs> Uh, she is going to heal 30 points. For the moment, at the beginning of the turn, you guys watch as the three pylons begin to eyes light up, and you watch as, like, this greenish soul energy uh, begins to flow from it, and the three call them rays of this energy form into a single uh, area coalescing within the darkness and you just hear uh, uh, uh yeah so then she will uh, what is she going to do what is she going to do what is she going to do can I shout something at my friends not on your turn boost roll da Okay. <laughs> Where is okay? So she is going to. Hmm. What's she gonna do? She's going to. She's going to 
die. <laughs> uh, how far away do I have to be for that? It's 30 feet. I will add her teeth to my collection. Oh, um, damn. Okay. You can't see her moving up. <laughs> Alright. Uh, she will use charm person. Randir, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, you have oh. advantage, I believe. Do I? Uh, yes, you do. Because sure. uh, you do so with advantage if you are fighting it. What is that? Where is that? Where, where's that come from? Charm person, you have advantage. Oh, because I'm okay. Okay. Yeah, yes, because we're right. fighting each other, you have advantage on the save. Okay, all right. Oh, that made... Yeah, I'm sorry. All right. You're good. Wisdom... Oh, yeah. That's going to be... Save is 17. Oh, does a 21 do it? 21 will do it. So, as you hear from her voice, uh, this uh, hissing whisper, Bow before her majesty or face my ire. In her realm, resistance shall expire. And then you just like <clears throat> shove it off, and you, your will is stronger than her uh, honeyed words, and you will fight. Can I say something back to her? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you see, I'm not as young as I used to be, and these knees, they don't bend so easily. <laughs> <laughs> Your back pops in three places. Ha! Yeah. Oh! Ooh. Yeah. I, I don't show it, though. I don't show it. <laughs> All right. That is going to be the end of her turn. Uh, after she goes, it is now Vrithil's turn. Yay. Uh, Vrithil, your <laughs> second verse, same as the first. Yeah. Um, I did some reading, though. Mm -hmm. Whenever uh -oh. she cast the spell on me, did she use an action to command me to do something? When she cast it originally, yeah. she commanded you to uh, attack. Attack. Okay. Yeah, I believe that was the case. Yeah, I'm just gonna attack to the best of my ability, so I'm gonna smack Ophelia. <laughs> you don't want to <laughs> defend your compadres behind you. She didn't say defense, she said attack. Okay. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> you guys did learn, though, that if he takes damage, he has to make a save. Um. So, you're gonna did get attacked. Give... Huh? Did I give you something? You gave me something. I can't remember what it was. You, like, inspired all of us or something well, like that? It's I should remember. Each, yeah. yeah, each time the target takes damage, it makes a new wisdom save. Well, so you can you can try to attack me. That's a nineteen to hit. Uh, <laughs> no, I think it does. That's so crazy because hey. it's twenty eight <laughs> hit earlier. You can't see you can't see her character sheet. So <laughs> fuck uh, off. That's a, <laughs> eleven slashing damage. Nice. It's the most damage I could possibly roll, just for your information. Wow. Um, Are you doing your best towards me? <laughs> don't know. Bonus action. Two. <laughs> two weapon fighting. Here comes the dagger. Oh, man. 23. <laughs> to only... hit. Yeah. I'm pretty low in the initiative, right? <laughs> yeah, and so is she. <laughs> yep. Great. Yeah. She's anchoring us. Oh no. Okay. It's alright. We're good. Okay. So my dagger does not do poison damage yet. I did not even know that. Um, so that's only going to be seven more slashing damage with the dagger. Or piercing, I guess. I stab you with it. I'm I just... You rotten asshole! <laughs> that's, that's my response. And that's gonna be action bonus action. Ripple stuff. <laughs> Alright. 
after you go. It's the Dragonborn uh, Revenant turn. All right, so all three are... Well, uh, the red and blue are going to make moves towards uh, Randir, so... Yeah, they would. And this one would make a move to Evite. All right, so uh, Randir, they get two attacks. <laughs> All right. Here they go. Thank you for the warning. All right, so for the first uh first one's attacks. Um I'm adding a plus 8 to these, so that's only going to be a 17 for the first. Ah, uh, hits. And then a a 15 for the second. Does not hit. <gasps> the... Ooh. Yeah. All right, so you take let's say one D12. Oh, did you do a saving throw, Cody? Did you take damage? I only do it when I take damage. Um, you only take. <clears throat> oh, oof. Well, this is for the this is for the axe damage. Uh, you take uh fifty. Sorry, sixteen points of slashing damage, and three D8 necrotic. Uh, nine necrotic as well. Okay, 16 plus 9 is 25. Okay. All right, and here comes the second one's attacks. Uh, God damn, dude. So fucking oof. 22 and 25 did. No, no, they don't. Uh, I hope not. Yeah, they do. All right, go ahead. Give it um, to me. So it's, that's going to be... Nine plus five is fourteen plus So fourteen plus twelve is twenty-six. Mm-hmm. And then And then And then fifteen plus Oh no. Mm -hmm. Twelve is to another twenty-seven. That were, that puts me one below zero. So you're unconscious. I am unconscious. Okay. So these two dragonborn rush over. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. That is. Let me do the math real quick. Okay. Oh yeah, for sure. It, but it puts me more than more than one. But yeah, I'm down. Yeah, you're just unconscious. You're not double gridded. Um, so yeah, both <laughs> Dragonborn run up to you. Uh, one hits with uh, a single attack. You manage to dodge off the second, but however, it's that moment the second one comes around and unloads on you with two necrotic attacks. The third one is going. I'll after, be all right. Is going yeah. after the V. It's going to make its two attacks. Sam, someone gets me up uh, that's going to be a 24 and a 25 to hit. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here's for the... <laughs> here's for the axe. Okay. For the axe, that's going to be... 11 slashing. <laughs> Plus an additional 16 necrotic. I'm letting D and D Beyond roll the necrotic because I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, and here's the second attack. That's going to be eleven plus five. That's another sixteen for slashing, and then the additional twelve necrotic. How you looking? Oof. Uh, barely standing. <laughs> well, cough, cough. Come uh, get these potions. <laughs> you, as he as he goes to the ground, you hear the click, click of potions in his bag. Well, to be fair, when we were passing them out earlier, I was I, I'm pretty sure I said that I already had some. So it's yeah. for a second. So you're fine. You just like oh, the reminder. Yeah. Um, that's the end of their turn. Randir, make a death save. 
Oh, you. Come on, natural 20. Really? Okay, don't do me wrong. 12. Okay, that's a success. Yeah, I'll take that. All right, Ophelia, you're up. Okay. This is a part. Evite, you're on deck. Am I... Like way down here, you're oh, still yeah. at. You're still in the stairs. You can't get been blocking me. your path. <laughs> mm. Okay, and he hurt me. Yeah, um, yep, a little bit, a few times. How does he look? Yeah, how does he look like health wise? He looks hot as fuck. You... <laughs> okay. No, he had like a scratch on him, which is kind of not hot because you're weak. You know, I'm just yeah. saying. I mean, who's on the As ground? I laid out on the floor. <laughs> it's okay, I've done this so many times. I'm not even worried. <laughs> I mean, can I even see him? Yeah. Yeah. I can? Okay. He's a big guy. Big I, just, guy big I was in the blood. stairs, and if it's like one way, I don't know how much I could see. Oh, no, I'm you're just... like at the top of the stairs, and you could like see everything. Okay, okay. Except for uh, homegirl in the shadow that your friend accidentally put on her. Oh, it's yeah. on purpose. I just did not know if you could see through it. <laughs> Y'all want to accidentally fun fact? I don't have a dagger. Do you have, you like, like two range something? weapons. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got you a blowgun. Blow gun in a short bow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you get around him? You can. Um, I was going to try to run into him and, like, stab him and prone him. Knock him prone. If you want to, like, try to shove him, you can. Yeah, that would be an yeah. athletics check versus his athletics or acrobatics. And then, what? would he take damage? Uh, Not necessarily. I'll say if you what want if, to try to... Down the stairs. What if I take a few steps back? Am I in fucking... What the fuck? Yes. Damn it. Um... So what if, if you're I gonna just... try to take it and like push him, uh, we could finagle it. He will have an attack of opportunity on you if you do move back. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to do that. Uh, I <laughs> vote I would take damage from falling down the stairs. <laughs> no, what you if, would, if like depending on the show. Failure. Yeah. Yeah, as long as you don't. Like if she was gonna ra if she was gonna like ram you, I would have uh, I would have allowed it to be like dunk 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 dunk. Yeah. But there's still the whole, like... <laughs> you know, I've been listening, uh, just sidebar on this uh, topic, I've been listening to someone playing Pathfinder, and uh, in that, I think you get advantage on the attack roll, but... Uh, or, I'm sorry, they do, like, a plus two on your attack roll, but you also, like, have to take plus two on, like, someone else's attack against you. Because you're putting yourself in a bad position. But you're also oh. like in the moment you kind of have advantage over them. It's like you're you're recklessly doing something. Yeah. It's yeah, like yeah, reckless exactly. attack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm just gonna punch him then. All right, do an unarmed attack. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Because my athletics is a negative one. <clears throat> then your strength oh. is probably a negative one. Yeah, your strength's a negative one. That's why. Ooh, twenty-one. That'll hit me. Yeah. Thought. Right in his fucking mouth. What the so fuck? So, an arm strike. Richard? So, the thing about unarmed strikes is they it's use your strength your modifier. Strength. And you have a negative one. You get a plus, you just get a one regularly. You just get a one regularly. However, you have a minus one. So, you have your punch. You literally, you hit him. You absolutely hit him. You go, ah, oh, are you, sure you can. Just like fucking street fighter right up to his face. And he goes. You mean to tell me. Well, it was fun while it lasted, guys. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> Spiritual weapon is the bonus action. Oh my God. Yeah. It doesn't attack though. Not not summoning, is it? So you can summon it as a bonus action, yeah. Which, do you want to? 
You also have, uh, do you have healing word? <laughs> Uh, I think I have not, not as a bonus action. I have cure wounds, yeah. I don't have anything that can reach him, I don't think. But I can do for my bonus action what I've decided I'm going to do instead. Because I'm going to do Draconic Cry. And that will give anybody within 10 feet. That's me. Never mind. I'll summon the spiritual weapon. Bring <laughs> okay. back the spurs. <laughs> All right, there she and that's is. That's it. I help you. Where do you, you guys. summon it? Uh, behind. I want to flank. Oh, is that a bet? That's blocking everybody else from being able to hurt him. Um, flank, flank somebody else. Oh, uh, is it too far to flank the person attacking Avit? Uh, I don't think so. I think you can put it there. It just only, it only moves like 20 feet. Oh, okay. That's where I want it. So you can set it anywhere. It just it only has like a little bit of movement. And I'll say you can move it. It's a bonus action to move it on your turn. So yeah. Okay. Cool. That's where we're at. That's my turn. All right. Sorry. <laughs> It's okay. I guess. Oh! You can make an attack with it! I can. I'm when you it. cast the spell, you can make a melee at spell attack against a creature with it. But yeah, so you, as soon as you cast it, you can make an attack. Oh, okay. Yeah, so go ahead and make a, a, a melee spell attack with uh, your spiritual weapon. I was, I was thinking, I was like, wait, no. Wait. That it takes 1d8 plus... Spell. Sorry? I can break the spell for Coco. You could try. You want to yeah. try? Yeah, we'll do that instead. Redcon, we'll she would have known about the attack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm I, not even high I'm not right bothered. now. I'm just stupid. <laughs> I'm not, not bothered stupid. by it. <laughs> oh, thanks. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask so many questions still. So. Does a ten hit? Did Did you roll that with advantage? <laughs> No. Oh, I can do it with advantage, can't I? I'll yeah. give you flanking for this. Just well, I'm pretty because. sure didn't, you read it off, didn't say with advantage? No, you have advantage if she, uh, against like saves and shit. Oh. And actually, he does. I think everybody has advantage on saves right now because I found the spell that I did for them. I rolled a 25, by the way. I did bless. And oh, bless yeah. is plus so, four. Okay. So yeah, so everybody has plus four on their saves. I'm gonna need. Ooh, that. that's right. So you could use that. So, mm -hmm. uh, she do hit, by the way. Okay. Yep. <gasps> Boy, you better uh, be waking up. Maybe I guess I gotta make the fucking save. I have a minus one to my wisdom. Oh, it got caught. Do you six want damage. <laughs> You take six points of damage. <laughs> I yeah. do. Oh, the yeah. Cop. All right. Uh, <laughs> in that moment, go ahead and roll, roll a. Uh, Roll a save and add your uh, wisdom modifier. DC 17. So no, you got this. No, no advantage, just a, a... Well, plus four. Because well, no, less. you're also... Technically, this is a charm effect. You do have advantage on that. Oh, I get advantage. Because you're Fae Ancestry. Yeah, Fae, uh, Fae Ancestry. Good, because I needed it. I 17. wasted all my fucking good rolls. I'm not even adding the four. That was an eight. Man... That's you get sucks. clocked in the back of the head with the spiritual boot, and you just raise your head up, and eyes haven't changed. Ophelia just says, you felt that one. <laughs> <laughs> what level did you cast spiritual weapon at? You're muted, I think. I was muted. Um... I didn't even think about it because it was just if I go to actions, bonus actions, I just did one. Level and two, you mean? Oh yeah, yeah, level two. Okay, uh, because it only because it does increase. Does it increase? Yeah, it increases in. Uh, it should at least. It says two d eight. Oh yeah, level four. It says 
Level it's four, a, level six. Two D eight instead of a one D eight. And then level six is three D eights. Yeah. Well I did All it right. at level two. Oh, okay, just checking. All right. Uh at the end of your go, we are back to the top of the round with Ivy. I'll be right back. Um, so I guess first, so I've, uh, I am going to yell at Ophelia, can't you heal? And uh, I'm going to, begrudgingly, drop Hunter's Mark and cast my healing spirit. I'm going to put it right next to Randir. What? Um, I got you. I got gonna, you, healing spirit. One second. I'm upcasting that for a little bit of one more oomph. Thank so you. Is there gonna this, hit me again? This will be able to heal you <clears throat> four times. So casting that right next to you. That's gonna heal you. Uh. 2d6. So, this first one, it's gonna heal you. Oh, six points. Woohoo! So, um, then, the action. Uh, I'm undead. Mm hmm. To answer Ophelia. Thank you. Um, <laughs> um <laughs> and then please don't. I'm undead. <laughs> um, I'll say, Ophelia, if you are asking that question, um, you do see that the three revenant-like creatures in front of you also have, like, decayed-looking skin, so they share a undeath with, uh, with Ivy, but they are a different league of their own. You're muted. I have a healing spell that could get all of us, and I don't have to touch anybody. Uh, but it has no effect on undead. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah. That's a very specific thing to remember. Anyway. All right. Uh, so yes, back to Ivy. For my action, uh, so seeing that these things heal, fuckface. And remembering what Torah said about how the three pillars needed to be destroyed. Are there any sort of like like glowing gems on them or anything that looks particularly magical? Or do I get the sense that the entire thing? From inspecting it, you get the entire like the pylon itself, the creation of this entire like gruesome structure itself is radiating the magic. Okay. Then, even knowing that there's a big dude in front of me who's probably who's gonna one-shot me next time he hits me, I'm gonna shoot this pillar twice, and I'm gonna shout to my friends, hit the pillars. Okay. So I'm gonna try to hit the pillars! Twice. Marty! The pillars! Uh, <laughs> that was a dirty 20 and a 28. Uh, they will hit the AC of the pillars is 16. So, damage on those is going to be... Also, I realized on my last one, I just rolled the 2d8s. I did not add the plus 4, but it's fine. Um, Alright, so that is going to be... 9, 10... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 points of piercing damage to that pillar. So you watch see. as imbued with magic, the arrow, you just kind of focus it and just like the innate like power within the weapon you hold, you just pull back. <laughs> A chunk of the pillar is destroyed, but still standing. It's looking pretty rough though. That's Mago. All right. At the end of your turn, she only regains 20 hit points. Mm 
And she is going to... Hmm. 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 I need Evite to make for me a wisdom saving throw. Okay. 17. Plus 8 to these. Natural 20 for a total of 28. Does that make the save? I think it just does. Does that make the save? It just does. I wish I would have had that natural 20 on one of those two hits I just made, but... And here's the crazy thing, because I suck at reading stuff. So as you feel this dread come over you, you see for a moment, like, Evite, you look towards the shadow, and you see, like, on the ground, crawling out of it, pulling pulling themselves from, like, the shadows itself. You see a bloodied fox. Evie. Run. And it's like flies begin to uh, come from his mouth. Flies fly from his mouth. <laughs> um, begin to emit in a <laughs> fog. And the face begins to distort as the fear effect fades and you resist it. But because I forgot fear is a concentration spell. And so it was dominate person. Is dominate person concentration? It is. Ooh. Vrithil, you are getting ready for another strike as you were commanded to. And speaking of deck, you're on deck. Mm-hmm. You see your senses, and you hear behind you <laughs> the sounds of explosions and effect like battle. You've been in a fight. <clears throat> You've been in a fight this whole time, and you just now realized it. Can I respond to her for casting that spell on me? Or trying? Yeah. Uh, in response to that, I'm going to kind of like, as I'm focusing on my brother and remembering that I know he's alive, um, I'm just going to stare into this darkness where I last shot her, where I assume she still is, and I'm just going to say, try harder. That's it. Okay. Ooh, I have an idea. We all had a long rest. You wish. Would Ripple have heard me yell hit the pillars or no? Uh, yeah. I mean, he would have heard, like, he would have uh, heard that in like an echoey sense like yeah. what's going on yeah, the he'd, be, he'd be cognizant of it now yeah <laughs> all right i'm just playing with a few things here since she be in some darkness I have the darkness. i'm gonna give her some darkness oh i was like man why is it reloading yeah. all of a sudden nah I'm just giving her a little. You know what? You know what, Phil? (laughs) All right, gang. I don't like that. Means shenanigans. Shenanigans. Shenanigans, (laughs) my good sir. I would never. How dare you accuse of shenaniganery? All right, so. (laughs) Why are you trying to shenanigans? I don't know words, bro. It's been a long day. Rithil, you're up. I'm up. With your consciousness regained and your hands bloodied. I'll just look at Ophelia, but did you hit me? Did you try to hit me? And then... Ophelia, you're also muted if you're... <laughs> oh, where did Ophelia go? She's behind you the whole time. She went <gasps> to snuff you out. Well, I was going to tell her to do something, but oh well. Uh, bonus action, I'm going to dash. Okay. And then I will. Where did my rule? Oh, there's my rule. Um, so that gives me. Does dashing double your movement? It does. Cool. Um, and Evite's still pretty fucked up, right? Oh, oh, oh yes. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Un pequeño. So I'm gonna move right next to her. 
And Rainier's like, don't worry, I got it over here. <laughs> like, uh, I'm, I'm good, I told you. I told you, I'm fine. Like Rocky. <laughs> well, you can He's also just playing. keep like smacking Paul yeah. and getting healed every time. That, that's how I'm going to get up. I'm going to brace myself on Paul. Yes, I love that. Um, And then with my action, Rithil will just like pat her on the shoulder awkwardly and cure wounds you've got to cure wounds I do and you know exactly why I have to cure wounds uh, 16 dun, dun, dun. 16 healing um and then I'm just like glad you packed I didn't, I didn't do this did I <laughs> no no he did <laughs> With the <laughs> remainder of my movement. Oh, I'm gonna circle this fella. I fucking love that feat. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, you saw why I have a cure wounds? <laughs> yeah, I saw. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna flank this fella. And oh, that's my turn. One of my favorite you creations. Secret bastards. It works! It's part of his character. <laughs> I know. And technically, funny story. Ah. Uh, it wouldn't matter because you didn't really get to know Barlow that much. <laughs> nah, that's true. Alright, so Rithil is back up. Um in the moment. V. Rithil runs over to you, places his hand against you, and you feel that warming shadow that you know so familiarly. You feel a tingle. <laughs> It'd be a tingle. It's um weird. and this curing uh energy comes over you you hear another voice that you recognize and it whispers get up we have work to do you got this bitch I'm standing. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm already, I'm already standing <laughs> look around camera slides bitch wait smile. hold on let me fix your hair <laughs> stop <laughs> Has your patron ever doted on you before? <laughs> like, I have a pixie cup for a reason. Stop touching me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> After Rithil goes, it is now back to the baddies' turn. <laughs> um, Because we're not playing on honor mode. Uh, Ophelia? <laughs> the baddie? I'm just kidding. The baddie? Uh... Now noticing that you're no longer allied, they're going to go after you, because you are the current threats. I just can't get out of the stairwell, can I? <laughs> he goes, <laughs> replaces the enemy, like, <laughs> you shall not pass. I'll do that. There you go. <laughs> um, They're going to unload on you guys. So, uh, oh, Ophelia, no, you're going to be the first. Over. Yeah, it's it's gonna be it. It's it's gonna be it. Um so for the first two attacks going against Ophelia. You got this. Sure do. So oh, is that a natural twenty? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Ouch. Cool start to things. Just wanna... That's rough, buddy. That's real rough. Well it's that and I rolled a natural eighteen, so it's eighteen and a twenty. These are going to hurt. This is going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt you, okay? Oh, yeah, it's blah, blah. I don't know. I think it's going to hurt her more. So for the first one, not the crit. Or, or do you want the crit first? Do you want the crit second? First, I guess. Okay, mm -hmm. let's, let's get it out of the way. Yeah. All right. So that's uh, two... Wait, no. There we go. That's 1d12. Double. For the crit. I rolled low. I rolled a 3. So that's 6 plus 5. So it's 11 slashing, but the necrotic is also doubled. So it's 3d8. Yo, I rolled like garbage. Good. 14 necrotic. <laughs> so... 25 total, I believe. 28. Oh, 28. 25. Yeah, 28. 25. It's 25. All right. 
That's the crit. You're good for that one. Now here comes the second one. Ah, fuck. I'm rolling low. Uh, I rolled a four on the d12 plus five. It's going to be nine slashing with an additional 13 necrotic. All right, and next up is against Vrithil. Two attacks. I rolled two fives. Plus eight. So does 13 hit? No. The two attacks leave two deep cuts in the uh, marble floor, but you manage to backflip. Backflip, because why not? I'm slipper. All right, and then the two after Evite. Uh, that's going to be a dirty 20 and a 23 to hit. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so here's the first strike for the axe. Uh, I didn't roll low that time. Whew. Uh, 8 plus 5 is going to be <laughs> 13 for slashing. And then the 3d8 necrotic. Plus an additional 14 necrotic. I'm down. The second strike. If you go down on the first strike, the second strike is an automatic crit. Mm -hmm. So it's two death saves. Cool, 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 cool. So that's the end of that. Wait, two failures or two death saves? Sorry. (laughs) Yeah, it's two, yeah, it's two death. It's two. It's two fails. So if you get hit, that's a crit. Yeah. So you have two fails. Okay, that is the end of their round. Randir, it's your turn. Okay. After he coughs up some blood, <clears throat> let me ask you one question. Uh, one question before I make my decision. Oh my gosh. Uh-huh. Hitting the whole table. Okay. Is the grasping vine an action or is it a bonus action? Uh for the weapon, uh, it's going to be I'll say a bonus action to like do the grasping vine yeah. effect, but then like an action to do the attack attack. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Alright, with that in mind, I think. Instead. Yeah, because if you activate it, it's a bonus action to do its like ability, but then it's an action to use your attack. Okay, well, so technically, since I was unconscious, is it still activated? I'll the the effect lasts the full time. You don't concentrate on it. The weapon is concentrating on the. Effect. Okay, the weapon is concentrated on. Okay, perfect. With that in Paul's mind. Paul's gone, by the way. That's, Paul's that's gone. Right. I'm unconscious. I can't concentrate if I'm unconscious. <clears throat> All right. There. So Randir's gonna stand up. Will the rear Randir please stand up? Is that is that my movement? Half your movement to stand up. Yes. Half my movement. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So half my movement is uh, all right. Fifteen. <clears throat> okay. He's going to cast Zephyr Strike. So he's going to basically have Grove Tender, and he's gonna calls back the trident, pits them together, and with that, he uh, he now doubles his movement and doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. So now I can still get my 30 feet. I'm going to turn around towards Ophelia mm-hmm. toward, and the red guy, and I don't know if it'll let me. Let me see if it'll... Ah, oh, it's letting me. How far was that? My ruler won't work very well. I got you. Uh, I moved you forward. It's all good. <laughs> uh, you did it. That I did it. Well, I was like, I was like, my finger. That was insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, like, that's why I was like, it. no, no, you, no, you do it, please. Five, you're five, uh, five, five feet of movement. You weren't too far away. Okay, sweet. That was five feet of movement, and mm-hmm. so with with that. Um, once before the, I give myself advantage on one weapon attack roll on that turn, mm-hmm. um, and then let me do that. So I'm going to attack this guy. Fuck him up. 
It, it does not. It, let me let me check my. Let me see what I had. I had seven to. Does a ten hit? Unfortunately, no. Uh, okay. All right. Well, then I grasping vine him. That was my backup plan. So bonus action, uh, grasping vine. Let me go make sure what the save is. Actions. That. I was so tempted to just move him like in between Unophilia, but I was like, no, that would be bad. That'd be dirty. <laughs> I, just, I, I was like, I was gonna scoot. I was like, no, don't do it. <laughs> give Sorry, us flanking. Me so long. You mean to give you flanking? This fight's going so easily for you guys. Yeah, so easy. Okay, grasping vine. So DC fourteen of dexterity. A fails. He's grasped. <laughs> okay, that was it. That's all I can do. And um, yeah, he's restrained. Uh, I'm gonna look over at Avi's. <laughs> this is more for my comfort, and that I'm still like, what's going on? Uh, I'm gonna look at it and be like, I'll be over there in a minute. <laughs> all right. So he's currently. <laughs> Like her, no expression, just kind of non plus. Just all right, that's the end of your go. That's it. It is now Ophelia's do. turn. Aha. Oh, Randier, did you gain hit points back or anything before Paul? Uh, he got healed when he was cast. Yeah, when he, he was cast, I got healed. Gotcha. For some reason, it's not registering your. I only have six. There you go. Sorry, I had to reload my screen, mm -hmm. so it's showing oh, your hit points okay. for me now. All right, Ophelia, give me a death save, please. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do What's I add uh -oh? anything? Uh, nope. Okay. Just. I I'll roll? be there in a second. Seven. Seven. Unfortunately, that is a failure. Okay. All right, and then back to the top of the round. V. I get advantage on these. You do. Uh, that would be an 8 and an 18, so. It's success. At the end of your turn, it's now Viserion's turn, as she willingly steps. From the darkness. And you all see her as she stands unscathed. Her, she has holes in her robe from the uh, arrows that are still protrude. Oh yeah, she probably pulled those out. The, there's, the damage has been shown to her wardrobe, but her form, this elven-esque form with the dragon-like scales, uh, mm -hmm. she looks fine. She looks to, <laughs> looks to all of you here. Ah, uh, brave souls, come to challenge her throne. But in her shadow, you stand alone. As her servant, I'll watch you weep. For the queen's wrath is dark and deep. You come with sword and spell and shield, yet in this field you must yield. For she is sovereign, ruler, queen. You but play us in her scene. Stand aside. Bend the knee. You know you only provoke the inevitable. Unconscious Evita's like, shut the fuck up! <laughs> psychic damage, psychic damage, psychic damage! <laughs> um, she is going to, in this moment... Hmm... Surrender. But yeah, yeah, you know what? She's uh, gonna give up. <laughs> uh she is going to cast another fear. Um, and she will do it against Vrithel. Actually, no. She will not. She will cast 
another charm person, you will have advantage due to your ancestral lineage. Mm -hmm. 17. Ooh, got an 18. All right, so she looks Ooh. to you and whispers in a draconic, uh, just honeyed tongue. Uh, you hear her say to you, Come to the side whose righteous path be. You know what? I don't have any rhymes at the moment. I'm kind of spent. Just come <laughs> over here. <laughs> uh, she fails, however, and you break free of this influence. It's going to be the end of your her turn. Your go, Vrithil. Okay. Uh, Vrithil's going to look back at her and say, uh, The tyrant will not rise again. And he's going to bonus action disengage and circle around here and uh, reach down and fucking, I said, get up and smack a beat across the face and cure wounds again or whatever. The I will I say if you want to, you can use extra charges to uh, to increase the effectiveness of either spell. Would have been good to know before. I only got one charge left now, so this is my last charge. <laughs> oh, that's a shitty roll. It's going to be eight healing, but you're alive. Hey, barely standing. It's still standing. Yep, not dead. Get three board death save. Um, That's such a weird, optimistic way to look at it. <laughs> so dark. Like, hey, you get more death saves. You get to try again. <laughs> oh, shit. Again, I say, what does that make me? Double dead? <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's all I'm going to be able to do. That was action bonus action. All right, so it's now time for the Dragonborn to go. Uh, this yeah. one is currently stuck. He cannot move. Uh, he has to use an action to break. Fails. He is currently still stuck. He just... <clears throat> yeah, fuck off, dude. Piss off, mate. Uh, but the other two are going after Vrithil. Yeah, I wonder why. First round of attacks. Uh, dirty 20 and a 12. <laughs> One of those hits. I'll All right. Guess which one? I mean, I'll go ahead and roll for the other guy's attacks. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a nineteen and a dirty twenty. Yep. Three hits on moi. All right. That's it. You got it. Yeah, only three. You got it. You'll be fine. Only three. Maybe All right. We get so somebody for one. the first one. Okay, that's only. <clears throat> No damage, they missed. 12, 12 points of slashing. Okay. And then... Three... Oh wait, I can roll it here. 21 points necrotic. Cool. Alright, and here's for the other two X attacks. Holy shit, I rolled twos on the fucking die. Both of them. Uh, that's only a combined 14 points of slashing damage. Oh and my. here comes here comes both Necrotic. Good thing you took tough. 11 for the first one and 14 for the second. So a total of 25 Necrotic damage attached ooh, to that ooh, as well. Ooh. That is the end of their go. Randir, your turn. All right. Coming so, this summer. This summer. Okay, so Randir is going to, um, like, kind of scoop by this dude. He can't and he's like, mm. yeah, he's going to bonus action for a potion of greater healing in Ophelia's mouth. He rolled disadvantage. It was a two and a twenty. So yeah, he's not gonna hit you. Hey, yeah. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use a potion of greater healing. Okay. Four D four plus four, I believe. 
Yeah, let me go ahead and uh, let me. I got you, girl. I got you. I'm just gonna get her up. <laughs> get her up. Thank you. Thank you. And do it at the same time, but that means I have to somehow get all of them out. But I'm stubborn, so. <laughs> all right, four d four. Plus four. Oh yeah. Healing. Oh, trust. Me. Yeah. Oh wow! So that's like fifteen. Hey, hey! 15. that's not bad from a potion. That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, now I, I will say. Um, let me go back and look. Okay, On a scale and... to twenty hit points. You got fifteen. That's pretty good. Hey. Um, okay, so and from that, I would like to. What did I have planned? That was my bonus action. That wasn't my full movement. Let me. Oh yeah, that's right. I would like to run um, back toward the pillar that Avit shot. And I think I moved five foot to Ophelia. That's what I would call that. So 25 feet, if you could move me please down. <laughs> Do you want to cut and grow? I'll, 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 I'll have it to where you don't cut across uh, from so-and-so. Like directly. No, 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 no. I'm going. Let me go in between the two lower points of the pentagram. Through. Wait, through here? Oh, sorry. Uh, through here? Oh, man. Duh. I can't see it because my thing froze. You're good. Yeah, to toward my allies. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, uh, bottom right. And You're then good. I'm going to throw my trident. Um, at that pillar. Do it, do it. Is All darkness right. a concentration spell, Vrithil? No. Okay. Not, I don't Maybe. think so. Maybe it is. Was it? Because I should have dropped that. Also. Because I could say you could drop it now if you want, if it is. Oh, it is concentration. I thought I looked at that. Yeah, you could drop it if you want. I mean, I took That's a 16 to hit the pillar. It. Uh, 16 is exactly its AC. Okay, perfect. All right, I hit the pillar. Um, let me go for another one. I, uh, call the trend back, throw it back again. <laughs> oh, exactly the same. 16? 16? Yeah. How do you destroy the pillar? Okay. You only I had five hit points left. I throw it. And when the point that it hits is probably dead on where uh, a beat hit, it, at least as close to it as possible. And then I whip it back, and I'm just gonna throw it as hard as I possibly can in the exact same spot. So you do. do I need to roll damage. Or... Uh, it only had five hit points left after oh, a beat hit yeah. it, so regardless of what you threw, it would have destroyed the pillar. Yeah. So, upon on that second final hit you hear the mouth of the dragon opens and the greenish energy emitting from it ceases and you watch as the dragonborn staying next to you who's about to, or start standing next to Vrithil that was just unloading into him, goes collapses, lifeless. At that point, Randir is just going to uh, take a second and fix his half back. <laughs> and just yeah, stroke his beard a little bit. All right. Okay. He's feeling good. But that's it. That's, my, that's the end of my turn. All right. After Randir goes, give me one second. I'm going to uh, do a thing. Oh, you can't see shit. It's not covering it. I have to do it over. Oh, well, uh, we'll just know that that pillar is destroyed. 
All right, so after Randir goes, Ophelia, you're back up. Oh, Ophelia. You got 15 hit points now. You're alive. I'm alive. So, Barely. so when he destroyed that pillar, did I hear you correctly that one of the uh, dragonborns died? Mm-hmm. He, he, or he, fell to the ground lifeless. Okay. I am going to... Uh, and you also, I'll say, uh, I forgot to mention, you look upon the face of uh, Viserion. She goes, You've sealed your fate. Your action's done. Your fleeing escape is now too late. You have a shot! No, I don't. <laughs> Yeah, that one next to you is like <clears throat> trying to break free of his uh, vines. <laughs> okay, he's oh, so this guy over here is yeah. So this guy here is currently restrained from grasping vine and has not broken free. Okay, so when I go past him, it's not going to provoke a reaction. An nope, because he already uh, used this reaction to try to attack Randir, and he missed. Horribly. So you're good. You can walk right past his ass. He's just like... Mm. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Well, yeah, well, yeah, we don't have to finish him off. Not necessarily. Go as you've just now revealed. I'm gonna go here. Just 30 feet. I'm gonna move that. I forgot to tell y'all, the, the trident is actually onyx. It's pitch black. That's cool. I dig it. Well, it's made from onyx. At yeah. all. Like, it's made from, like, broken parts. He's like, here, I made this into a thing and imbued it with a thing. Yeah. Whenever you threw it, you heard Ripple. No! Raspberry's wait! Like, I gotta that's... get one of those. It's the fucking <laughs> uh, Tide Caller. It's the... Yeah, it's it was the, the fake call. weapon. That's what it was. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Damn, it's been a minute. It's... Yeah, I know. Well, when you when you were saying that, I did. Yeah, he de he definitely he added a little bit of something something to it. It's got right? well, yeah. It's the, where the the grip is, it's like uh, wrapped in metal instead of fucking leather. Yeah. It's banded. Okay, folks. Well, love it. So, um, she is going to cast a uh, mass healing. Yeah. And, yeah. There we go. Hey. To use up to six creatures within a 30 foot radius spear oh. centered on the point which you target, they will regain hit points. One second. I will say, if you want to uh, point yeah. from Randir, you'd all. Well, 30 foot, yeah. If you use Randir as the point of healing, it would hit all of you. Yeah, perfect. So that's what I'm going to do. And it is at my sixth level. So it's going to be a 4d8 11. Damn! Do I do that? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. We're gonna do it with some real dice. For my That's own, uh, thing. my own mind, your thing is a cowboy hat, like a golden cowboy hat appears on <laughs> Randir's head yes. and just emits healing. Mm -hmm. I'm Doug Dimmerdome, <laughs> owner the Dimmerdale no. Dimmerdome! <laughs> Randir has no idea there's something on his head, and he's like, you're woke! <laughs> you're just like, <laughs> Oh, Anybody else all... feel like a rodeo? <laughs> okay. I love how this was going one way for me, and now it's going another way. Hey, we are the champions. I've... You guys got fucked a little bit there for a second. I've oh, only we... done yeah, good yeah. against us. I've only done damage to us. I've only hurt us, okay? <laughs> like, I have not done okay, anything to help this yeah, party. We will let that slide because I, I was left in a closing tomb by one of our other party members who had banished and could have saved me. So. <laughs> That's true. Uh -huh. Everybody regains 42 hit points. Nice. That was the point where you find yep. out that uh, Ophelia has banishment. Shit, 32. <laughs> it's 32. 32. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's 21, 21 plus 11. That is amazing. Nice. 
That puts a lot of you back that's up like, a little bit. That's like one round of attacks from one of these enemies we're fighting worth of health. <laughs> <laughs> and that's only the last... one of them is like actually. I can't fighting use health. that again. Yeah. Love your level six spells, y'all. I don't have any. Um... Ooh, I'm making you work for it. This is good. <laughs> Excuse me. Anything else? Bonus action or anything? Yeah, I'm gonna do my bonus action. I'm gonna use that to dare. Um, to dare? To what? To dare? To dare what? To do something. <laughs> oh no, what are you doing? I'm just thinking about what I'm gonna oh, do. No. Why are you so far away? You got tiny little cobalt legs. <laughs> Y'all need to stay with me. Like what's, what's your walking speed? 20. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. I'm waddling around with this big ass armor. Yeah. <laughs> He's got like half and a speed. blow gun. <laughs> uh, we're going to do spiritual weapons. And a blow gun. I forgot about the blow gun. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Which is not going to do anything to that pillar. Uh, It's magical. You have a magical weapon. It counts. Okay, it would. It's three damage, so it's do anything. Wait, are you using your? I produce flame. You have a bonus action. Do you try to use? Oh, sorry. Yeah. You're good. Oh yeah, I was looking at my spells so I could pick what level. Can I only do it at level two for my bonus? That would make sense, wouldn't it? I can only do it at level two for my bonus action. What? You can do it. Uh, spiritual weapon. You can move it with your bonus action. You already have it. Yeah, now. you can move it again. It has twenty feet of movement. It has your exact movement. <laughs> yeah. It can move. Is as it, fast oh, as so you. I can't make it attack. Uh, you can either move it or make it attack. Oh. You can move it up to better. her. I suppose. Yeah, it's got enough know. movement to get up to Viser uh Yeah, 20 feet has enough movement to get up to Viserion, or you'd start moving it towards Randir. Yeah. Uh, put it on the... Oh, you can't. It's not going to work. Oh, yeah, put it right here. Is it 15 be, or 20 feet? It's 20, isn't it? Oh, did I not it? assign this to you? My bad. Give me one second. No, you, no, you probably did. Just... I didn't oh no, I didn't. That. So you're good. Oh, you didn't. Okay. okay. I am safe settings now. It's but you can control your uh, your weapon. Yeah, I'm gonna put it here so that he's no longer in her line of sight. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. A massive a cowboy of... boot moves in front of you. <laughs> and the Yeehaw, spurs, motherfuckers. The spurs glimmer in the light as they spawn. <laughs> you <Stand>. hear <laughs> in the background. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. That is my turn. All right, we are jumping back to the top of the round in initiative, Evite. Yeah. I am going to, first off, lock eyes with Viserion for a second, and I'm just going to smirk. Um, And then I am going to shoot. I can reach either of these bullets. Um, <laughs> Let's do. You can actually go either way. I don't know what the range of everyone else's stuff is, so I'm gonna shoot this one um, over here on the left twice. What's the range on a longbow? Uh, 150. You're fine. Yeah, I was, yeah, gonna I was say gonna I can say hit all of them. It's like 80, 120. Yeah, it's one. I could hit it 120. Just like. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So I'm going to hit that close. Uh, I'm going to re-roll one of those. One of them's a natural 20. Okay. The other one was a 1, and so Stalker's Flurry. I'm going to re-roll. Mm. Uh, that is an 18. D the AC is 16, so you're good. So both hit. So you crit once, and you Please. hit once. Uh, hit do the crit. Uh, do, do the crit first. The crit first? Okay. Yeah. They have 30 HP. Uh, seven. So that's going to be 14 plus four. So 18. 18. You watch as that pillar 
like where like uh again like near the top of it you see like an <laughs> anime style hole appear in the side of it and then the second one is going to be 10. 10 damage that's 24 <laughs> total yes similarly again you just see another chunk of the pillar get broken away it's about to go down <laughs> and then for my bonus action wait <gasps> i'm gonna go invisible with my nature's veil oh. How um, do? so that will let nature's veil you draw on the powers of nature to hide yourself from you briefly as a bonus action you can magically become invisible along with any equipment you're wearing or carrying until the start of your next turn. <laughs> so... like, hey. It's basically disguise self. Huh? It's basically a sky self. But invisible. Except just... It's, your, it's, it's like the similar thing that Randir has when he goes invisible. He's like, don't look at me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, right. And then I want to... No, I'm just going to... I want to... Mm... If I'm invisible, would that incur an attack of opportunity if I left? That yellow one's like dead. Missed. The yellow one's dead. Oh, well then shit, yeah. I'm gonna move uh, 15 feet since I had to stand. So that'll put me right in front of this thing. Okay. So uh, as you begin to move, you step through like the ether and your form shifts into a uh, invisible uh, visage. Um, okay, one second. Okay. Uh, in that moment, Viserion just looks around. I may not see you, but think you I do. Yoda? What will you... <laughs> think you I do! <laughs> Let's see how much your friends mean to you. And with, like, not even looking, you watch as she, like, raises her hand like a puppet, like a uh, marionette, and you watch as, like, she just, like, moves her hands for a moment. And over by Vrithil, this dragonborn begins to, like, jerk <laughs> and make an attack, uh, a singular attack against him. Uh, natural one! Oh, he Nice. As he goes into strike, uh, you... <laughs> Uh, goes down and you dodge and he just decapitates the other body uh, <laughs> next to you. And so it's just, yeah. um, that was a legendary action at the end of your turn. It's now her turn. Oh, goodness gracious. What is she gonna do? Um, she is uh, cracks her neck and just thinks hmm. so dare to rise dare to fight her servant stands for her right in her name I shall ensure her claws grow on her hand your defeat is swift your end shook your end secure I kind of thought a little bit of that on the end uh, she is going to rush Ophelia noting that she did the healing of the party and she's going to unload with uh, two claw attacks you watch as like her hands grow and her fingertips sharpen to like lady death strike uh, claws and she just goes in with two claw attacks at you oh no uh, that ain't natural <laughs> <laughs> that ain't natural uh, it's gonna be plus eight to hit, so let's roll. The, I'm gonna roll the metal die because this is fucking metal. Fucking metal. Way down. Uh, that's gonna be twelve plus eight. That's gonna be a dirty twenty to hit for the first attack. Second one. That's going to be twenty-two to hit. So both strikes hit, I assume. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> okay. Uh, you watch uh, as she goes and just starts slicing through your defenses. Uh, that's going to be 2d8 plus 3. Oh, wait, 4. I'm gonna roll them here. Oh, I'm gonna roll them here. 
Uh, that's going to be 11 for the first. Um, I also need you to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, that's a d20, right? Uh, yes, plus your constitution save. Um, the DC game? is 16. Is it Constitution? Yes. Okay. 16. A 15. 15. Unfortunately, you take 16 points of poison damage and are poisoned for one minute. What's on? What's I'm on? I'm starting the timer right now. I get it. <laughs> um, you're, uh, you have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. It's that kind of poison. Uh, for the second... <laughs> second... Uh, claw attack, you take 12 points of slashing, of uh, force damage, sorry. And you take another 16 points of poison. I need you to make... Oh, wait, you're already poisoned, so... Double That's poison. Weird. Double poison. Did you fall again? Yeah. So now oh. I'm not poisoned anymore, right? Because I'm unconscious. No, you're, I mean, you're still poisoned. That's You're... let's just say that's what's keeping you unconscious. <laughs> so you don't have so it's ability checks, not save. So your death save will not have disadvantage. Okay, good. Uh, so yeah, you guys watch as she just runs over to Ophelia after seeing her bring you guys back from the brink of death, mm -hmm. knocks her to the ground, looks to you all. Next, and you watch like her face is beginning to show more dragon-like features, like. The, the flesh tones of like uh, tanned uh, sun-kissed skin begin to fade as more and more green begins to show and her face begins to elongate slightly more into a draconic being as she's beginning to loosen the illusion a little bit more. Um, that's going to be the end of Viserion's turn. Rithil, you're up. Ooh. I would just like to mention that one of my things I was looking most forward to playing a rogue for was sneak attack. I haven't got to do that one time because y'all keep getting slaughtered. <laughs> uh, speak for yourself. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, bonus action, disengage, knowing that mm -hmm. the feed is invisible and I don't need to guard her. That's the wrong one. I'm going to run my happy ass right here. And mm -hmm. look her in her bitch face and say, I guess I'm next. And I'm just going to fucking wail on her with my one sword. It's going to be very anticlimactic without sneak attack. It's going to be so cool. Wait, is she, is, is, does she not count if she's unconscious? Nope, they can't be incapacitated. Oh, it says man. so in sneak attack too. Yep. Trust me, I know. Trust me, Zeno. Yeah. I, when Kurt was down, I was like, <laughs> yep. That's Insightful an, fighting! That's an 18? To hit? 18 just hits. Woo! The AC is 18. Yay! Woo! That's gonna be 7 slashing damage. And she so doesn't big. count as a dragon, does she? Nope. Unfortunately not. Damn it. Uh, that was action bonus action. That's all I got. Yeah, which <laughs> you you go into this battle, you see these draconic like features, but after you do the cut, you cut right through, and you watch as like the skin uh, of her face where you slice up a good chunk of it goes uh, missing as you reveal uh, the muscle underneath, and in that moment. It begins to like piece itself back together and you see like a burning kind of like cinching ash kind of coming off of the wound. Guys, she's Wolverine. <laughs> it's because the pillars are still up. <laughs> um Alright, after Rithil, it's now the only dragonborn who's not fucking stuck in vines or dead. Which by the way. It does not break its uh, vines. I forgot about that, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. That was Randir. Oh, I forgot oh, about shit. that dude over there. Yeah, that's probably accurate. 
It's only been like 10 seconds. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, well, being that Randir's the only one it could see, it's going to run up to Randir and make two attacks. While well, it's grass. Uh, no, the blue one's going to go. Oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a 25 and an 18 to hit. Yeah, they both hit. It's going to be... What's it hitting me with? Uh, a great axe. <laughs> it's a pretty great axe. It's an okay axe. It, well, so far, it's a... it, yeah. So I far, like it. it's been pretty great. So far, um, it keeps hitting me. Uh, for the first one, you only take... 11... Okay. Points of slashing. Uh huh. And 13 points of necrotic. <sighs> Are you down again? No. Uh, you said 11 and 14? Uh, 11 and 13. 24. 13. So 24 okay. damage total. And for the second one, 1 plus 5. 6 points of slashing. Okay. That's not the worst part. Plus, it's not the worst part. Only six points of necrotic. Oh my god. <laughs> this is great. Okay. I have two hit points oh left. Oh god. <laughs> so I, I take these hits. Then I just start coughing up more blood. And I'm like, no, 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 no. This not such a great act after all, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be their turn. Randir, you're up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Retaliation. Now here's the thing. I'm I'm focused. Randir still knows what's up. Um how is is one of these standing What's the strongest uh, column? Which one is that one? The one in the back. Yeah. Yeah, the, the furthest back one has not been hit yet. Okay, the can you... The one on the left is, like, uh, barely standing. Yeah, can you um, measure out 60 feet for me? Yeah. Or toward the back one? That's 60 feet. Oh, sh man. The, dude, I've got to get something else to run... Uh, roll 20 on because this this I've had this not like it uh, hold on I got you um, so oh, okay okay now I'm back I'm back I can see can't that 60 feet mm-hmm okay yes I will uh, I will start running mm-hmm actually I will misty step first as to not provoke an opportunity attack. Oh, <laughs> sorry. No, her ability uh, to make her oppo make her ally attack uses their reaction. It's the same thing as the uh, battle master ability. So, like, oh, I just meant because they're standing next to me, and I was going to get away. Yeah, but they don't have a well, reaction. Well, the blue guy anymore. already. Yeah, the blue guy already had a reaction when uh, Vritha was. Oh, already oh, I, I see what you're saying. Okay, so well, either way, um, I'm going to run. But Sorry to yeah. interrupt. By the way, Rithil, you still have a bonus action if you because you didn't have to disengage. Oh. Oh, now I'll just hit her with my dagger. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. uh, Randir, go ahead and finish uh, your stuff. Uh, Rithil, just do your uh, attack and dagger damage on the side real fast. So, Randir, go ahead and finish for you. Okay, all right. Uh, Randir's going to move 60 feet toward, um, toward the back pillar. <clears throat> Okay, and and that is like while well, he starts running, and he, you just hear these pounding footsteps, and then he d tries to do a corkscrew into the into the misty step again, so that he lands, and he's ready with his trident to throw at the weak, because he has a uh, six. I'm sorry, hold on. Yeah, sixty foot range with that. Right? So that's what that's. Let me see. With the trident? Yeah. Yeah. It says 20, 20 slash 60. Yeah. What would that be? Yeah. Okay. Disadvantage? Is it disadvantage? Because it's like the extra, because it's 20 slash Anything 60. past yeah, 60. It's... Yeah. Anything, so it's 60 is the max range. Oh, so the, I thought it was oh, 20. I thought, was... 
20 slash 60, would that mean I'd fall oh. with disadvantage on the 60? So yeah, sorry. If it's 20 feet away from you, uh, you're fine. Anything past 20 is disadvantage. Anything past like 60 is, you can't get past 60. Okay, okay, so. Yeah, I, I will I will still throw at, uh, I will still throw at it, yeah. At the weak one, at the one that's about to go down? Yeah, at the weak one. Okay, go ahead and uh, make your trident throw. Oh, oh man, that was a nat one with disadvantage. Oh. Uh, so you go to throw the uh, trident and it just <laughs> sails past completely and <laughs> sticks into the side of the wall. But okay. comes back to you with the returning ability. Okay, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to throw at the one right in front of me. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to roll that flat. Actually, well, not flat, but, you know. Oh, wait. Oh, well, it was still in that one. Never mind. Yeah. I still, I still wouldn't have hit it. <laughs> That's only a 14. To hit? Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, you go to hit, and it lodges, or it makes contact, but the exterior of the pillar just ching, banks off of it. I'm still coughing up blood, so like yeah. this was this was a really hard move for me. <laughs> uh, you do note that because like you're attacking the third pillar, like this uh, Viserion just looks. <sighs> oh yeah! By the way, can I just uh... <clears throat> can I just turn around and say, "Don't worry about the scaly bitch. Just get the fucking columns." And he's gonna he he's waiting for growth tender. Like he's just waiting to get in range. They're too so, far but... away. <laughs> the growth tender? Get here. They're all the way away. Uh, no, no, no. This is for next time. Like I'm just saying he's oh, okay, okay, okay. Because he wants to swing his axe. They're all gotcha. the way over At the there. end of Randir's turn. That'll be the end oh, of it. Oh, um, real quick, I rolled another nine to hit with my dagger, which is an eighteen, the same thing as my short sword. That exactly hits. Eighteen's the uh, AC. So that was five damage. So I'll say flavor wise, I stab her in the stomach and I feel very proud and then I notice she does not give a fuck. And I'm like, ah, oh, cool. <laughs> she like you stab her and like she like gently grabs your hand and pushes it inward and goes Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh alright, so at the end of your go, it's she's going to use Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, she's going to use a uh, legendary action to cast or to uh, do command ally and and what? And, and what? Oh wait, no, he doesn't have reaction anymore. It's still, it hasn't been his turn again. JK, she's not going to do that. <laughs> Instead, she's going to cast Words of the Prophet, I need you, Vrithil, to make a wisdom seven throw. Oh, I'm not good at those. <laughs> oh my god, you're not good at those? I'm not, I thought we established that. Is this any kind Unfortunately, of... I'm not very wise. <laughs> is this a charmed effect? <laughs> it is not a charmed effect. Damn it. That's a, a dirty one. A dirty when? Of the two minus of a one. <laughs> Unfortunately, you will now take... 3d6 psychic damage. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, so 3d6. Oh, I can roll these. Uh, you take 10 points of psychic damage. And. My brain. <gasps> Wait. On a fail save, Don't it must immediately use its reaction. If available, to move as far as its speed allows you away from you. Uh, Dissonant Whispers, baby. Run! Wait, do you have a reaction? I have a reaction, but question. Mm -hmm. I used all of my movement to move over to her, and it's not my turn yet. Do I have any movement to run away? You do not. <laughs> so, you cannot move. You just take damage. She says run, and I'm like, nice. my legs are tired. I don't want to. I'm tired. <laughs> I don't want to run. I don't want to. Um... All right, that was her legendary action. Uh, it's now Ophelia's turn. 
Oh, Ophelia. To make what a death save. What are you going to do? Let's see. Death save. Also, is her spiritual weapon down now? Because she's unconscious. It's not concentration. Oh, it's not. So... Good, 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 good. Huh. I'll say she could still, like, be the... We'll, we'll do Baldur's Gate rules, and she could still like, be the spiritual weapon you are she the wants. <laughs> Um, my turn's over. Could you roll? An eight. That's unfortunately a failure. What's that, one and one? <laughs> yeah. Brittle just whispers, I thought the big one was going to help you, I'm sorry. Um, but you, I'll say I you am. still, um, I'll let you still be your boot. So go ahead and, uh, as a boot, what do you want to do? What are you going to do a boot it? Yeah. Can you can I, still I, hit her. Can I hit somebody? Yeah, she's right next to you. She knocked you the hell down, but the boot's like right next to you. Yeah, and I don't have, I don't have the movement to get to the pillars. No, they're not ranged. Take so. way too long. <laughs> I'm on the way. I'm coming, guys. <laughs> I can't dash. I've got this. Just stay alive. <laughs> Yeah, it was your action to death save, and now it's your bonus action to attack. <laughs> does a 12 hit? Unfortunately, it does not hit. My turn's over. Oh, the boot's actually not even in range of her, is it? It is. Oh. It's just these uh, panels are fucking weird. Okay. Um. Oh, wait. Yeah. No, it's in range of me. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, you just moved it. Oh, no. That's what she did. That's well, I was going to say, game. you could have... Roll with advantage. <laughs> oh, okay. I was gonna say you could have flanked with uh, Brithil. Ooh, seventeen plus seven. Definitely, yeah. AC is eighteen. So go ahead and roll. Uh, what was it? One d eight plus your thing force. Yes. One d eight plus three. Seven. Seven points of force damage. Gotcha. She takes it and just <laughs> right to the face. And you see, like, uh, the on her face where all the scales are, a massive like burn mark. <sighs> yeah, and where it's not burned, it spells out Andy. <laughs> <laughs> like Toy Story. <laughs> Ophi. Gotcha. Uh, all right, that's your go. Back to the top of the round, Evie. You are um... still in Visibear. Uh, not anymore. At the start of my turn, it goes away. Oh, you so arrive. I'm going to shoot once at the already damaged pillar and see what happens before I decide on the other one. All right. Reindeer approves. Uh, 22. So choice one is going to be nine points. So that one's gone. Yep. So how do you destroy this pillar? Uh, as soon as I push back into uh, vision, um, I'm going to glance at Viserion and I'm going to say, when I finally end you, I'll have a little rhyme for you too. Uh, not even looking at the pillar and then I'll loose the arrow. Um, and then second one at the other pillar. As you watch that pillar crumble, you watch as the dragonborn in the red. Good. He watches like the greenish, like soul energy leaves their form, and the pillar falls as the dragon head falls limply to the ground as well. Last one is going to be a dirty twenty to hit. Definitely hits. So that is going to be 12 points of piercing on the last one. Gotcha. It has 30 H. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Sweet. there's 30 HP. So 16 left. Cool. And then bonus action, Nature's Veil. <laughs> and I am going to move. While invisible. Closer. That's my turn. Question. Hmm? Your mind blast thing was going to make me use my reaction, but I couldn't. Do I still have my reaction? Yes. 
cool. Whenever that dragonborn like dies, uh, Brithel's gonna reach out his hand and a tiny little, what looks like a stone to anybody that's not unconscious next to me is gonna appear in his hand. He's gonna put it in his little pouch. Oh, yeah, as the as the body uh, falls and the soul energy uh, comes from it, it just, it begins to, like, in a way... Your like, ghost road! <laughs> Sick! It, the energy, it, like, begins yeah. to go towards Viserion, but then in a moment, shifts direction, <laughs> and you just watch us... Get that soul totem. Brithil Phantom now has so cool. his uh, charge. And he's okay. gonna say, oh... What is dead may never die. All right. Um, uh, Evit, you're done. At the end of your turn, um, she. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Things are. She's still fine. She's good. You guys are looking rough. Speak uh, for yourself. <laughs> she with the with the two uh, clawed hands. She uh, sees V destroy another pillar. <sighs> oh, speaking of which, top of her turn, she regains only ten hit points. Only ten. What is she gonna do? Mm -hmm. It was twenty last. Oh wait, time. you damaged that last pillar. No, she mm -hmm. does not. <gasps> So she does not <laughs> regain hit points. Uh, she's just like, ah. Ah. this battlefield, her royal court, where she it attains as her last resort. Against her might, you shall find no strength in arms, no power in mind. As she then does, eh, fuck it. She's just gonna make two claw attacks. <laughs> she goes, psych, bitch. <laughs> Ultimate punch. <laughs> <laughs> Mind punch. Uh, two attacks. Why is she uh, headbutting now? <laughs> against Rithil. You're the closest one to her. Oh, the boot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's going to go fuck about the boot. Uh, so for the first claw, that's going to be 27. That'll hit, yeah. And for the second one, a 26. Yep, those will both hit. Um, uh, you take... Oh fuck, I don't have a reaction. Never mind, I was gonna uncanny dodge. Yep. They ain't that a bitch. Yep. You wanted that token so bad. I wanted it. Um, alright, so for the first strike, you take 12 points of force damage. <laughs> and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Ooh, I have advantage on con when I have a soul trinket. Oh shit! Nice. Ooh, and I needed it. Yeah. That wasn't Good much better, shit. but it'll do. <laughs> Good uh, shit. 14. Ooh, wait for the DC? Yeah. Or for the AC? Yeah. Oh, DC. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's 16. So yeah. you take 16 points of poison, poison and are poisoned for a minute. For the second attack, you take an additional 12 points of force damage. Ooh, do I need to make the save again? Yep. That one's much better. It's going to be an 18 plus 3, so 21. 21. You aren't poisoned, uh, but <laughs> you still take oh, 16 take... points of poison damage. Oh, I'd still take the damage. Yeah, I'd fall down. Oh wait, you sa oh, wait, no. If you saved, it's halved, so it's only 8. Oh, okay, I am not down. <laughs> In close though, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think we all are. <laughs> I'm fine right now. You're I right. will be in a second again. Wait, I am so sorry. Hold on, give me one second. Constitution or take. You made the save, right? Yes, on the second one. No damage. Okay, so add eight. Constitution saving throw or take damage. Still not great, but a little bit better than I was. Okay, so you're... Yeah, negate that damage. So you succeed the poison and... <laughs> you're just still poisoned. Just don't take any more poison damage. Poison me one um, time. Shame on you. Poison me two <laughs> times. Can't okay, stop you. poisoning me. Stop <laughs> feeding me poison! Stop stabbing me, please. 
Uh, all right, Rithil, you're up. Oh, shit. Um, so what... Oh, I can look, actually, what Poisson does. Poison is disadvantage on attacks and ability checks. I'm going to do the responsible thing. I'm going to use the help action on Ophelia. <gasps> um, I'll say... I'll give you... Um, if you want to give me your bonus action, you can do a medicine check to get her stabilized. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, I'm going to call it right here. DC... DC 15 to get her to one hit point. Okay. Uh, what what kind of check? Medicine? Medicine. Yep. Okay. Um, skills. Do it. Medicine. Oh, the 13. No. 13. She is stable, but above 10, she's stable. Oh, 15, okay. I would have given her one hit point. Okay. So she is not dying. She's just unconscious. Okay. Woohoo! All right. Uh, you still have an action. Can I hold I'm my fair, action? Fair, DM guys. I, I like, like for people to have fun. I would like to hold my action, and the trigger will be if that last totem gets destroyed. Ooh. What is the action? An attack. Okay, an attack action. Okay, right on. Uh, all right, so you are holding an attack for whenever the last pillar falls. It is now the final uh, Dragon okay. Ball horns go. He's going to run up to you. Oi, and piss two off. Attacks. Piss off, Oi, mate. piss off! <laughs> he misses with one. Good, good, good. And, let's see, oh, 23. God. Three to hit. Yep, that'll do it. Uh, <laughs> Roll all ones. Roll all ones. Uncanny dodge. Nice. You have uncanny dodge. And that okay, have so the... I'm gonna just heal eat. So half damage. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Only twelve. Total. I'm have one hit point. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Holy fucking shit, yeah. So it was like half of 11 is, uh, I said like five or six, and then half of 13 was like six or seven, so I was met halfway, mm -hmm. so. Okay. That's his round of attacks. Uh, that is now Randir's turn. Okay. Randir is going, <laughs> going to turn back. See, Brithiel hanging on a very similar thread. And he's going to say, it makes you feel alive, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. And then he's going to run towards the first pillar because he did not call the trident back on the second throw. Mm, um, okay. So he's going to run towards the pillar and just jump and smash Grove Tender down into this pillar. So, well, I think he's going to. Yeah, Again, he's, make, make your first attack. He's still very hurt. <laughs> Rethel just right. muttering, I don't understand that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. Oh, that's only a uh, 13 on the first one. How much? 13. 13, unfortunately, you go to hit <laughs> not Hard enough. It's okay. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Put your okay. back into it. No, oh, it's just a 15. Oh. Unfortunately, okay. you make like you make contact, and it begins to like crack a little bit. But like you just need a little more force into it. This one's hard. <laughs> <laughs> and then as my bonus action, I'm going to. Uh, pop a potion of greater healing yeah. and drink it. To herself, if it's just like, it's not even moving. <laughs> <laughs> I have two hit points. I'm I have two hit points. Ow! <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm I... unconscious and I got up and shot it. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I could have used my, I, my, my trident did more right now. Ah. I know, I'm gonna make excuses. So I'm gonna drink this. <laughs> okay, that is 
All right, 14 points of healing. Ooh, nice. Okay. I got it on the next time. And yeah, and then I'm just going to stay there with the pillar. <laughs> All right. Well, actually, uh, I'm he... sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to say out loud, Avi, you got this? And then actually, could I start run? Could I take the rest of my movement to run back towards uh, the scaly one? <laughs> yeah. Scaly one. Uh, how much movement do you have? You used five, I'll say. I so used you have... five, yeah. So tw I have 25 left. 25. Okay, yeah, you begin to move, and you are right there. So after <laughs> the weird beginning to his turn, <laughs> and then seeing him say, I'll get it next time, and then just turn and sprint the opposite direction, for something like, I really do not understand this guy. So, so <laughs> this, is the, this is the thing in, in Randir's head, a little behind the curtain. He thought he was going to be like Thor and just chop through this. And then he was like, and then, but you see him, and he's actually like dragging the, <laughs> his growth tender. He's like, I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so after Randir goes, Ophelia, I would like you to roll for me a d100. Oh, no. Oh, Where it's not a d20. Or we could do that. No, I want to do the d100. Okay. So what I want you to do. And I'm going to let you pick on a percentage. Any percentage. You want the percentage now? Oh. Yeah. Pick one. <laughs> um, 13%. 13. Okay. Really you have it. to roll. Hold on. Can I change it? Can I change it? <laughs> Can I change it? Now's not the time for Taylor Swift numbers. I know it's not. It's going to, it's going to kill me. Do it. Just do it. It's okay. I already said it. I gotta commit. So 13. Or 21. So 13. I, You need to hit under a 13. Oh. <laughs> you know, there's a 50-50 chance. Just roll the first, roll the 10 die first to just see if it's even worth rolling the other one. Oh. Always fun. 20. <laughs> Unfortunately, you are still unconscious. There is no deity out there listening to your radio waves, unfortunately. They're just like, what the fuck's going on down there? So, you are still unconscious, but you are not dying. I hope you're having happy thoughts while you're unconscious. Back to the top of the round. Shoot the pillar. I'm going to do it once and see what happens. Yeah. Uh, 24. That hits. I knew it. Damn it. 11 points okay. of uh, piercing. Okay. Is it more still... like that. It's yeah, it's, still yeah okay. it's, it's still intact, but it's crumbling fast. Jingo. 18 on the to second hit? one. Okay. Yeah. No, uh, this one is going to be seven, eight, uh, 10 points of piercing. Got it. With the combined two attacks, both arrows begin to swirl around each other and as they make contact with the eyes of the draconic uh or the, the dragon on the pillar it just begins to ah. the pillar begins to crumble and fall and the final dragonborn who's making his attacks against Rithil falls as he does, the look on Viserion's face begins to change to one of genuine fear. Good. Um, go, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, go, I, I was actually going to say, at that moment, as he dies and the final pillar What have you done? I need you to roll 10d6... 10d6 plus 40. Me? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna make Google do that. 
Can I just say, I, I like to imagine that Rithiel just sees Randir start running towards him, and then all of a sudden, after all that, the pillar cracks and just falls behind him, yeah, and he's like, just like... Is it 10d6? 10d6 plus 40. Uh, 40 what? 40, 70 48. 40 is nuts. 78? Mm-hmm. Damn, that was a good chunk. You watch as as the pillars fall and crumble, she begins to... And the visage, or the, the form that she has, begins to... And Evite, are, do you have anything else on the end of your, or near the end of your turn? All right, what do you do? Uh, looking straight at her, I'm just first going to say, you're next. And I imagine at this point, I'm starting to like rot and like decompose in places as angry as I am. Like skin is sloughing off. Black blood is like coming out of my eyes and nose. More gaunt. You look like the crow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I look like I'm actively like decomposing. <gasps> you're like Sylvanas. The yeah, Banshee yeah, Queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 100%. Um, um, hmm? I was going to do a bonus action. Okay. Seeing how fucked up everybody is, I am going to... What do you mean? I'm fine. Never been better. I am going to... I'm not going to upcast this. I'm going to do my healing spirit at second level. Um, I feel like this one probably looks a little different. Um, What's up? So this healing spirit is going to look like a skeletal snake That's crawling nice. out of the ground. And I'm going to cast, oh, let me double check the range on this. 60 that. feet. So yeah, I could get Ophelia. So I'm going to cast it right next to Ophelia. Here, you and have control clean. over that little thing. Uh, what thing? Oh, I see it. Gonna cast it there, so that will heal her. I didn't upcast it, so it's not gonna be as much. But she's healed for six hit points. Hey! I'm gonna snick it all snack. I'm gonna snick it all snack. And that is my turn. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And you <gasps> come back to consciousness. Before you fuck Just us, can see... I do my held action? <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, the pillar fell. Oh. The pillar did fall, and your action is still held. So yeah, what was the action? An attack action. <laughs> On yeah. the scaly bitch. Ooh, natural 20. Oh! Nice! Okay. Crit, crit, crit! So yeah, uh, Grithil, as you're, you you get this, uh, you see she like, falls over as the last pillar uh, crumbles, and like she begins to like, <clears throat> from, she's like, exploding exploding from within you see like actual cracks in her scales and you take this moment to fuck her up you get sneak attack because i was gonna ask a crit um so question because i don't crit very often um, it's double the damage dice dam and double then you the dice the okay yeah so so you double the it's just yeah you already answered it it's double the dice okay double the dice so that's 17 <laughs> Off the sword. Nice. And then sneak a little snake attack. Are you using your metal dice? I can hear them in here. That's, I don't have that many D6. Uh, 12, 16, 18, 20. 21 sneak attack damage. I finally 21? got to do it. Yeah. Damn, dude. She is looking. It she's. Is. You guys are starting to see some wear and tear. Sneak attack is very strong 66 she's got some wear and tear on her she's got like now everyone's starting to look six, pretty even six, like six. if he, she's almost as bad as you i'm fine now what do you level are you or you at 40 yeah yeah she and you have similar hit um. points well, i say similar but she's still looking okay uh that's your held action yep all right um after evites go and your held action she begins to be 
Behold, as I shed this feeble guise, see the truth behind the lies. In my true form, power soars. Beware yourselves for endless wars. And then she begins to explode, and you watch as she slots off the scales. And from underneath, you see this dark, deep, reddish green scaled skin begin to show as these two <laughs> wings come from behind her back. The robe falls to the side as you see before you a hellish nightmare, a green Abishai. Her claws, more monstrous looking, tail <laughs> whipping to the side, long, sharp teeth, and deadly golden eyes. Now the true fight has begun. Let us see who stands alone. Is it I or is it thee? That didn't I... even rhyme. Fuck you. <laughs> it's okay. It's power now skull, as I transform. So Installment fire I will perform. This battle marks your final test against my might. Lay down and rest. We will go ahead and call it there for the evening How as we will pick up <laughs> as we will did pick she, up. Did she say against her breath? What? No, she said against her might. <laughs> she was a dragon type this whole time? Uh, She is a Abish shy, and if you got everybody can roll a history, sorry, history, religion, or Orcana, okay. Orcana, Arcana, Orcana, Orcana, Orcana bro. Uh, oh, you said zero. you said we can roll a history or what? History, religion, or Arcana. They're all the I same. Clue what that is? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's a natural one. I got a four. four. I got a four. Uh, Randir, you hate fiends, right? Oh, yeah. You have advantage on this. Wait. I rolled a 24. A 24? Nice. Yep. Ophelia has heard tale. Oh, no. Or heard tale. Uh, of these creatures from the lower plains of the hells. They are the spirits of damned dragon kin dragon born typically but dragon kin that have been bent and shaped and warped into the hellish fiend that you see before you these are draconic fiends specifically devils these are devil creatures uh, going forward, you have a little bit more knowledge about that. And specifically, uh, Ophelia, you know that green Abishai are adept at discovering secrets and other sensitive information. While uh, their diplomatic skills and their magic ensures that they can manipulate the shrewdest of opponents. Yeah, they're very sneaky kind of guys. That's how uh, she controlled it, me. Uh, you also know, uh, because your uh, role, that there is a color of Abishai for each of the tyrant's heads. Blue, white, black, red, and green. So, elsewhere, you get the feeling, Ophelia, that there are four other Abishai out there partnered with this one. So it's a devil and not a dragon type Pokemon? Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> I know. Sorry to be disappointing. I got you with that dragon city, though. I knew oh! the sword was going to be useless, but I had to take it. <laughs> By the way, thank you for following along with those of you still here with us. Yeah. We'd like to say we appreciate you guys and Benji down below sending all the love. Uh... Follow us every Sunday, 7 Central Time, for our main campaign in Eendry. Follow us on the Horizon Red Podcast and HorizonRedPodcast.com for more information about the podcast. Uh, buy some merch, guys. Support the channel. Support the stream. We love you. Show much. Show, show us some love. Or else. Show us all the love. Yeah. Not, not or else. I mean, 
Or, or else. Suck if you, or else. Or else. Well, you heard it, guys. Show us love or else. <laughs> I want to thank my players tonight, the lovely Ali. We've got Sabrina. I've got Cody. And we've got Benji over here. Guys, thank you. We'll see you next week. Maybe we won't die. Bye. Maybe. Bye. Bye. Bye.